Hi guys, welcome on board the 737 Classic Full Flight Simulator. Today it's me here and my colleague Stefan from the ATPO Integrated Group. Hi, good day. Let's roll it today. Oh yes, we will. So currently we are on left downwind, runway 08 right at London Gatwick. And we will soon experience an engine fire. So let's go. So approach checklist please. Approach checklist. Altimeters. Altimeters. 1013, 1013, 3000. 1013, 3000. And approach setup completed. Approach checklist completed. Thank you. Engine fire number two. Fire number two. I have controls and communications. You have control and communications. Autopilot disconnect. Auto throttle disconnect. And engine fire memory items, please. Confirm. Thrust lever number two to idle. Confirm. I, uh, idle uh, lever number two. Confirm. Fuel switch number two cut off. Confirm. Number two cut off. Fuel switch number two cut off. Sw uh, fire switch number two. Confirm. Confirm. Discharge right bottle. Checked. Okay, now we will wait for the fire to go, go out. At the same time, I'm controlling the aircraft manually. Fire is off. Thank you very much. So, QRH uh, Rage engine fire checklist, please. Now we're gonna check in the manual uh, which item we're gonna have to use for this uh, the situation. And I see here I got it. It's item 8.2. Let's browse a little bit. Hopefully a little bit. Yeah, there we are. 8.2. Well, the first part we've done already just by heart. Just then we continue to the next page. We check if we're gonna if we have vibrations. Uh, it seems we don't have any vibrations. That's correct. Isolation valve close. Then pack switch off. Then we're gonna start to do the start procedure for the APU. Yeah, so start the APU, please. Okay, start APU. Hold it for three seconds. And now we leave it and we wait till it started. Takes a little moment. We're gonna see here a blue uh, light which will illuminate when it's on. And at the same time I am uh, coping with the thrust differential we have here by using my feet on the rudder pedals and using the rudder trim which is currently 5 degrees to nose left. And APU is on. APU on, so generator 2 online please. Generator 2 on. That's done. Then we go to the next step. Transponder to set to TA. And, and set, set squawk 7700 for the emergency, please. Okay, set 7700. And actually, I should have called the ATC, but for this video, we will assume that there is no control available. I don't think we need uh, wing anti ice. No, we don't. Just we have cab OK. And plan to land in the nearest suitable airport. Thank you. And engine fire checklist completed. Thank you. So next step on we'll do the we'll check the one engine and operative landing checklist to determine what kind of settings we need to use and what kind of switches we need to flick. Okay, we start here with one engine inoperative landing. Uh, landing must be made on one engine, as we see here. Plan a flaps 
15 set landing position. Checked. Set VRF 15. So VRF for the 15 is, as I can see, is a three, 133 knots. Okay, thank you very much. Then maintain VRF 15 plus 5 knots minimum on final approach. Apply normal wind correction, but do not go below VRF 15 plus 5 to assure ad adequate speed for go around. Okay, and so that makes our approach speed 138 as we don't have any wind. Yes, we're gonna have 133 knots as our approach speed. Now, I, I suggest not to use the anti ice. Yeah, uh, we don't need it. No, we don't need it, I think. And one engine in operative landing checklist. Uh, we're gonna do, go to the third items. VRF 15, 133 knots. Minimums is uh, 200 feet. Checked. And then go to the next item. Additional divert items, ground proximity flap inhibited switch, that's here, we're gonna switch that. And it's set, and one engine and operative landing checklist completed. And just for clarification, we flicked that ground proximity warning switch to flap inhibit, because uh, usually the 737 does not use flaps 15 for the landing, therefore we want to uh, get rid of the warnings associated with flaps 15 at near proximity to the ground. So, we are currently 8 miles out. I will ask you for flaps 1 and speed 190. Flaps 1, speed 190. You can put the QR agent to the locker. And 190 set. Thank you. And flaps 1 is set. Thank you very much. A little bit more for the trim. Okay, we are now 11 miles out, so flaps 5, speed 180 please, flaps 5, flaps, speed 180, thank you very much, and if you can, please select left heading 110, left heading 110, Thank you very much. More luck, please. For luck. Armed. Thank you. Now Stefan has pressed me a button uh, which will allow our flight director to guide me towards the runway and the lateral guidance.
so now we are established on a localizer runway 08 right at London Gatwick and we are 10.5 miles out. Arm the approach please. Approach. Armed. Fly slow. Alive. Thank you very much. Gear down. Flaps 15. Speed 138. Gear down. Flips 15. Speed 138. Set. Thank you very much. And glass lock ring. Thank you. Now we'll do the landing procedure. Kevin crew, take your seats. Kevin crew, take your seats. Engine switch continuous. I think recall to go, and we can do the landing checklist, please. A landing checklist, which I will gonna find in the manual. Checklist engine switch start switch is on continuous check speed brakes armed they are set yep landing gear is down flaps is 15 green light check landing checklist completed thank you very much set the go round altitude 3500 feet go round altitude 3500 feet is set. Okay, we are now on glide slope on the localizer and 4.4 miles out of the runway. The speed is now almost our approach speed of 138 knots and the flaps 50. We are currently 1,200 feet above the ground. Next action we will take will take place at 1,000 feet. One thousand feet stabilized. Landing lights on. Thank you very much. Set. And there we have it. 
this is how we tackle an engine fire in flight. Thank you very much for joining us. See you next time. Ciao.